Sometimes some people complain, saying, I pray I appeal to the Lord with prayers, but the Lord does not answer me. In this video, we will tell you how to correctly ask the Almighty to answer you. We will give one special prayer, about which the Prophet himself, blessings and peace be upon him, said that when the Lord is called upon through this, he answers. We will also talk about what kind of prayer must be said during prostration in order to receive an answer from the Almighty. Don't forget to watch the video to the end so as not to miss any important details, and there will be a lot of them. A prayer is an appeal to the Lord. By appealing to the Lord with supplication, you ask Him for help. A person cries out to God the Lord with supplications for the Almighty to answer, because as it is said in the Quran, Your Lord said, Appeal to me, God the Lord, with requests and desires, and I will answer you, except that it is forbidden to ask, such as help in sin or harming someone the Lord does not respond to this. Indeed, those who consider worshipping me, God the Lord, beneath their dignity, the pride of such people prevents them from showing obedience to God stands in the way of their movement to the Lord. Their pride also prevents them from doing good deeds and pushes them to commit evil. They will enter hell in the next life. Prayer and supplication are literally communication and conversation with the Creator Himself, the Most High Lord. Supplication is the greatest worship. For the Prophet, blessings and peace be upon him, said, The best worship is this supplication. When you make your request to the Lord, you talk to Him, addressing your requests and problems to Him. Each of us understands that communicating with someone important to us requires concentration and attention. So what can we say about communicating with the Lord Himself? God says in the Quran, when my servants ask you about me, God the Lord, then I am truly near, with my knowledge, awareness, mercy, strength, forgiveness, etc. And I heed every call when he, man, calls to me in prayer. May they also obey my call and may they believe in me, God the Lord, so that they can walk the righteous path. So what kind of plea is this? It is reported from the words of Anas, may Allah be pleased with him. One day I was sitting next to the Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, in a mosque, and one person was praying and said, O Lord, I ask you through what you should praise, and there is no deity but you, the compassionate, generous, first creator of heaven and earth, O one of greatness and magnanimity, O alive, O almighty one, I'm asking you. Then the Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, He addressed Allah by his greatest name. When he is called upon by this name, he responds, and when he is asked by it, he bestows. You can also turn to the Lord with this prayer during prostration because the Messenger of Allah, blessings and peace be upon him, said in a reliable hadith, the servant of the Lord is closest to his Lord during the performance of prostration, so often turn to him with supplications at such moments. The Messenger of Allah, blessings and peace be upon him, also said, turn to Allah more often with a plea for well-being. Also in order for the Most High Lord, great and holy he is, to answer your prayer, we will give several conditions that must be observed in order to receive an answer from Him. First, do not ask the Lord to help you in sin, deprive someone of your mercy, curse someone, and so on. The Messenger of Allah, blessings and peace be upon Him, said, Each of you will be given an answer unless he rushes, events, and says, I made a plea to Allah, and He did not answer me. In the version of this hadith quoted by Muslim, it is reported that one day the Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon Him, said, the prayers of the servant, Lord, will be heeded until he turns to Allah, God the Lord, with pleas for sin or for the severance of family ties, provided that he does not show haste. People asked him, O Messenger of Allah, what does it mean to show haste? The Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, This means that he will say, I have appealed to Allah with supplications over and over again, but I do not see that he wanted I have to answer after which appeals with entreaties, become, to a person, a burden, and he refuses this. The Messenger of Allah, blessings and peace be upon him, also said, Do not curse one another, and do not call upon others, neither the curse of Allah, nor his wrath, nor fire, that is, do not wish others to go to hell. The Messenger of Allah, blessings and peace be upon him, said, The most truthful person should not to be cursing. Secondly, live a righteous life, avoiding the forbidden and striving for the good. Be generous, merciful, help people, honor your parents, forgive insults, and be honest. Please people, and remember that the Lord sees and knows all your actions. Your prayers to the Lord gain special power when they are supported by a righteous life full of benefits. Strive for purity, not only in your actions, 
but also in your thoughts and words. Avoid anything that separates you from the Almighty, whether it's lying, stealing, gossiping, or other sins. Fill your life with good deeds. Help those who need support. The poor, orphans, widows, show respect and care for parents. Forgive insults and strive for reconciliation. Be honest and fair in all your affairs. Do not forget about modesty and humility. Avoid pride and arrogance. Be grateful to the Lord for all his blessings and mercies, as well as to the people who do you good. The Quran says that, Indeed, the mercy of Allah, God the Lord, is close to those who do good. The Quran also says that, You forgive them who do evil, and do not seek. Forgive all those who do evil, and do not seek retribution for them. Indeed, Allah, God the Lord, favors only those who are kind to people. The Quran also says that, Allah, God the Lord, commands to observe justice. Justice here means recognizing the Lord as the only God, as well as responding with good to evil and with good to good, as well as loving all people, to do good and generosity to loved ones. He forbids abomination, lawlessness and rebellion. He admonishes you. Perhaps you will remember the edification. Strive to bring joy to others. It can be just a kind word, a smile, help in business, or just your kind attitude. Remember that the Lord sees all your actions, thoughts and intentions. He sees your sincerity and your desire for the good, and your good deeds will not go unnoticed. Following these principles, you will not only get closer to the Lord and strengthen your prayers, but also create an atmosphere of kindness and positivity around you, which will have a beneficial effect on your life and the lives of others, as well as a reward from God for good. Thirdly, on the path of righteousness and sincere prayers, do not forget about the most important thing, patience. Many may face a situation where it would seem Everything possible has been done. Life is filled with good deeds. Prayers are said with a pure heart, but the desire does not come. At such moments, it is important not to despair and not to lose faith, but to show patience, beautiful, persistent patience. Remember that God always sees your efforts and your sincerity. Perhaps what you are asking for is not good for you at the moment, or God has prepared something better for you. Trust in the wisdom of the Lord and His plan, because he is closer to you than your jugular vein, and his help is always there. The Almighty says in the Quran, Allah, God the Lord, loves the patient. God says in the Quran, Truly the future is better for you than the present. Continue to do good deeds, pray and trust in the Lord, and he will surely please you with his mercy and answer to your prayers at the most appropriate time. In a modern world full of hustle and distractions, it is so important to find a place where you can find peace and solitude, to communicate with the Almighty. Many people are wondering, where is the best place to pray? The Messenger of Allah, blessings and peace be upon him, said in a reliable hadith, the best prayer is that which a person performs at home. It is in your own home when you are alone with yourself and your thoughts that it is easiest to achieve a state of concentration and sincerity in prayer. No one distracts you, does not disturb your solitude with the Lord. In this atmosphere of peace and quiet, you can completely immerse yourself in prayer Open your heart to the Almighty and turn to Him with the most intimate requests and thanks. Your home becomes not just a place of residence, but a refuge for the soul, where you draw spiritual strength and strengthen your faith. The Messenger of Allah, blessings and peace be upon Him, also said, Don't turn your houses into graves and don't turn visiting my grave into a holiday. This hadith reminds us that our faith should not be limited to rituals of worship and external manifestations. True faith lives in our hearts. It manifests itself in our actions and in our attitude towards people and the world around us. Therefore, let us strive to create an atmosphere of worship in our homes so that they become for us a place of solitude with the Lord, a source of spiritual strength and inspiration. In this hadith, the Messenger of Allah, blessings and peace be upon him, forbids his companions to deprive their homes of such acts as performing prayers and turning to the Lord in them, thereby turning them into a kind of graves. In addition, the Messenger of Allah, blessings and peace be upon him, forbade to constantly visit his grave and gather near it, since such a thing is a path leading to his excessive exaltation and later to polytheism. Dear friends, our goal is to bring the truth to people, but without your help we will not be able to do this. Therefore, let's make sure that as many people as possible learn about this important knowledge, and for this, like this video, share it with friends, and leave your thoughts in the comments. We ask the Lord, great and holy, that he help all people and guide all people on the right path. We also ask for his help and protection. 
May the mercy of the Lord always be upon us and upon you, dear viewers. God bless you all.